And good evening, so glad you're with us here tonight at 5 o'clock. I'm Adam Wongo. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. We begin with a major sentencing in the Capitol riot. Jacob Chansley, also known as Qdon Shaman, learned his fate today. He'll spend nearly four years in prison for his role in the insurrection. Our chief investigative reporter, Eric Flack, watched today's sentencing unfold at the U.S. District Courthouse in D.C. And Flack, we know our Capitol riots team live tweeted everything that happened down there today. And uh, at times it was a bit bizarre. Yeah, so to give you an idea of just how bizarre it was, the QAnon Shaman's defense attorney brought along his own documentary crew to follow him through this day. What we witnessed here today was the closing of one chapter of a very dark saga in American history. The QAnon Shaman is the poster child for January 6th, and today he was sentenced to three and a half years in federal prison for his role in helping to lead the riot at the U.S. Capitol. The Department of Justice called the self-proclaimed QAnon shaman the flag bearer of January 6. The judge adding he, quote, made himself the very image of the riot. Jacob Chansley was the first person indicted by the Department of Justice for crimes January 6. And today he was sentenced to 41 months or about three and a half years in prison for felony obstruction of justice. He sought to be accountable. He was and has been held accountable. Prosecutors say Chansley was one of the first 30 people to break into the Capitol building, wearing those horns, painted face, and wielding a spear, all the while urging on other rioters with a bullhorn. There were those unforgettable images of Chansley on the Senate dais and the chilling note he left for Vice President Mike Pence, writing, quote, it's only a matter of time, justice is coming. In a rambling 30-minute speech to the judge before sentencing, the QAnon shaman asked for leniency, blaming childhood trauma and a lifetime of untreated mental illness for his actions. Chansley also compared himself to Gandhi and Jesus when explaining why he was taking responsibility for his actions by pleading guilty to the obstruction charge, adding, quote, I'm guilty of this crime, but I'm not a dangerous criminal. Judge Royce Lamberth called Chansley's remarks, quote, the most remarkable I have heard in my 34 years on the bench, adding he believed Chansley was genuinely remorseful, but called what he did on January 6th horrific. The 41-month sentence the judge handed down is on the low end of federal sentencing guidelines for Chansley's felony charge. Prosecutors asked for 51 months behind bars. Chansley will get credit for time served. He's been detained since his arrest almost now a year ago, meaning he has about two and a half years left on that prison sentence that he will begin to serve very soon. Reporting live from the U.S. District Courthouse, Eric Flack, WUSA 9. 41 months and he was uh, facing the most serious charges. Uh, Flack, thank you so much. And Trump ally Steve Bannon is pleading not guilty to the criminal contempt of Congress charges against him. We learned that earlier today from a notice filed in federal court. Now, Bannon is set to appear at a hearing tomorrow morning to figure out the next steps. In this case, you remember he was charged with contempt last week for refusing to testify or provide documents to the House Committee investigating the January 6th insurrection. And you know, WUSA 9 has a team dedicated to covering the Capitol riot investigations. Just open your phone's camera, point it at that QR code and sign up for our Capitol Breach newsletter. We're going to email you updates every week and when these big stories break, you can also sign up on our website, WUSA9.com.